guys, I am so excited. We are doing my like kind of monthly haul. So here's the thing. I'm on a no buy for six months from January until July. So I really am only going to do these hauls once I have enough either PR or things that are exclusionary from my no buy, like things that I need to replace or whatever, which there is nothing. I bought nothing for February and so far into March. The only thing that I see myself buying for the rest of this entire month is a new suitcase because I don't know if you know, but I've had my suitcase for like 10 years. <laughs> So uh, on this last trip when me and Steph went to Mexico and I have my whole Mexico vlog up, I'll link it down below. It was just, it's not great anymore. <laughs> and it's been on many a trips, but it's time for an upgrade. So that's the only thing I see myself buying and I feel good about that. I feel proud. But I do have some stuff that came in for PR this month and I wanted to show you. And the first one is ironic because I just got back from the beach and now I have eight new bikinis and one pieces. I haven't actually tried any of these on yet. So I'm gonna be inserting pictures and you guys get to vote down in the comments which ones you like the best. So like I said, all of these ones here first are from Cupshe. They did give me a coupon. I'm gonna make sure I don't mess it up and look at it. It is YT Ashley for 5% off $45 or more. I will link everything down below and let's start out with the one that I think is the cutest. I think this is Steph's favorite as well because she's also very into this green color. Look at it, it's like a little sports bra. It is so freaking cute. There's no strap on the back. Now, here's the one thing I try to actively avoid when picking any sort of bikini is those like metal like clasp. I don't like those. Personally, not my favorite thing. I prefer like a tie-up bikini. And then the bottoms are just as cute. They're just these really pretty, like kind of ribbed green fabric here. And I got, I think all of these swimsuits in the size medium. I promise I won't ramble quite so long about all of the bikinis. The next one I got because hello, Nikki Blackader, pineapples. <laughs> so this is a pineapple one piece. And this is what I'm saying is like these metal clasps right here. I just don't find them as comfortable, but when it's a one piece, I can forgive it because it already has like the structure of the bottom and the neck and everything. Then we've got kind of a nautical styled one. So just a blue and white stripe bottom. And the top for this one is really cool. So it's also a blue and white stripes. Obviously it'd be weird if they like changed up the design. And then you have the cups here and this like string detailing here. So you're gonna get a little bit of cleavage, but still a little bit of a nice cover up. Okay, next we've got another two piece. This is just like leaves because you know, I'm the plant lady. I really need to do like a house tour or something because if you guys see the main floor of my house or my bedroom, or my office. There's plants everywhere. Most of them, yes, are fake because I can't keep shit alive. However, this is my aesthetic, okay? So full nice butt bottoms there. And then this top is kind of in the same vein as the first one and the last one where it's a little strappy, a little bit more of like a um, kind of sports bra feel to it. And then the back you just do up with like this zigzag string, which is really neat. So it's super adjustable. All of the strings are kind of connected and I think it's gonna be really, really cute. Okay, this, I don't, I don't know, but I was intrigued. I think it looks a little big, I don't know, but it's this like velvet green bikini top and it has these cutouts in the side and I hope it fits because I think it would be really cute. I just don't know how this would be in the water. Like it's a bikini, right? But like velvet, is that? I don't know, but it's cute anyways. And then the bottoms, just a nice simple velvet bottom. Okay, we've got three more. So this is the, I think last one piece. I only got two this time. And I think this is so cute. Again, in a medium, it's just this full, nice black bottom and then this floral top. I like things like this that are kind of more simple. When I was in Mexico, and you can see this in the vlog, I wore a lot of one pieces. Um, mainly because I didn't want to get burned and just because you're going from the pool to the buffet to the beach to the pool and like drinking a lot and like mama gets bloated when she's drinking so one pieces were my jam all right and then this other green bikini so this is the bottom right here these are really thick bottoms too like it feels really nice quality this is again going back to kind of the first one where it's more of a sports bra sort of deal and then the back is freaking awesome I really out of all of them this is the one I'm the most excited about and then I gave Steph the link and was like pick some stuff and then she like came back with one so this is the one that she picked out and I'm gonna try it on for you because that's just what I'm gonna do and then it's hers but <laughs> this is the top it's super cute 
and the back. And then these are the bottoms. So just really cute. Again, in a medium, everything's in a medium. I will link every single thing down below. If you guys want to use the coupon code, you can. I get nothing from it. But I'm going to have to either like go to the beach or go swimming or something because like, damn girl, I've got all these cute bikinis. I mean, I can use some of these to tan when the sun decides to come out from hiding because like, hello Canada, but I want to use them sooner than that. <laughs> okay, moving on. I got these probably in the middle of February and I was just waiting to get enough stuff to warrant doing a haul, but I was so excited to be reached out to by this company. So I did a video with Scentbird a while back and I included one of these perfumes. It was, which one did I include? Sunday Brunch, I think, from Kieran. I'll link the Scentbird video down below. So Kieran NYC saw that video and they're like, hey, we're glad you liked it. Do you want to try out some fragrances? And I was like, yes. Yes, please, I do. Yep. So they sent me two full-size fragrances. This is the Kieran NYC Nitro Noir, and then this is the full-size of Sunday Brunch, and then they also sent me a little sample pack that comes with, I think, all four, I guess, of their signature fragrances. So they have 10 a.m. Flirt, Nitro Noir, Santel Sky, and Sunday Brunch. Okay, so the 10 a.m. Flirt has Gardenia, Fig, Cashmere Wood, Sunday Brunch has Italian Bergamot, Lemon, Earl Grey Tea, Nitro Noir has Italian Bergamot, Pink Berry, and patchouli and mama loves some patchouli and then the Santel sky has saffron sandalwood and vet vetiver I'm literate it's fine so I have all these little sample ones that I'm just gonna throw in purses and then like these bottles are so freaking cute so I will link everything down below and thank you for sending me all these perfumes I was sitting here like I'm getting bored of my fragrances. I want something new. I almost bought some on Sephora and then I was like, no, you're gonna know about blah, blah, blah. And then like this just came at the perfect time because I've been trying to work through my like four full size fragrances that I've had for years and just switching between the couple of them. I just got so bored and now it's like, it's nice because I get to play around with new stuff. Also just taking this one out of the box for the first time, like look at this packaging. So you get it out of there and then it comes in this like red box and then the box comes apart. It's just like, <laughs> it's so cool. So this is what the packaging here looks like. It's very like urban and modern. It just feels kind of like street art, which is very cool. I might actually spray some of this right now. Yeah, you definitely get that lemon scent, which I'm not upset about at all. All right, and then I got this from Juice Beauty. This is the Prebiotics Viola and Kumaru Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Haven't used this. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, but I'm really excited because I liked the last Juice Beauty Moisturizer. It was that one in kind of a pump and it smelled like lemons and I loved it. It smells good. It smells, um, very spa-like. Kind of like you step into a Lush store and then you smell that, like, green face mask that they have. It smells actually exactly like that. So I'm going to start using this as soon as I'm done with my other serum, which is truly, truly on its last leg. And then we'll switch this one in. Also, like, who am I moving up in the ranks? I got a package from L'Oreal. I know, I didn't know I was so famous either. So this is uh, just a double pack for Valentine's Day. Yeah, this bitch is real late on this video. But it's the uh, double of the Voluminous Mascara. So I guess the idea is like, you're supposed to have like a friend or something. <laughs> what are those? And you give one to them, you're like, hey, happy Valentine's Day. So much love and appreciation for you. All right, and then I got a package in from Venix Beauty. They just sent this to my PO box, which you guys, I renewed for another year. I'm very excited if anyone wants to send letters because you guys have made me cry multiple times on your letters and it's kind of my favorite thing. So my PO box is down below if you want to send me a letter and then I can cry and it'll be cute. So this is the Impactful Green Beauty brand and this is the Glowy Skin Makeup Removing Cloth. And I've just been reading this while I've been sitting here because I thought that these cloths were just like you wet it and then you rub it on your face and your makeup's gone. And it's supposed to be obviously like preventing the waste, but you're supposed to apply makeup remover and remove the makeup with the cloth. But I will let you guys know what I think about this because I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about having to like wash this after a couple of uses. I think that's gonna be, I mean, I don't know, maybe it won't be a big deal at all. But this is actually what I'm really excited from the brand. They sent the contour sponge. And first of all, the little package is so cute. It's like this rose gold tin. And first of all, if you have cats, you understand why you can't just leave your sponges out and about because our cat Chloe loves beating up a good sponge. But I will say, first of all, the shape of the sponge is really cool. You have these two flat ends 
and without being wet or anything, it is nice. It's a good texture, it's very soft. It feels like it could really blend something out. It's really nice and skinny kind of up here, so I feel like I could get under the eye very precisely. So this is something I'm very excited about. Also very excited about this container because <laughs> Try and get it now, Chloe. And very lastly here, we have some stuff from Boutique. So they have two different things. They have like this mask subscription box and then they have a beauty subscription box and they sent me both of them. So the mask one comes with like a billion masks. And also for like Black Friday, they sent me a package of like a hundred plus sheet masks. So every time anyone comes over to my house, they're like, hi, nice to see you again. Let's go do a sheet mask. And I'm like, okay. So there's, there's just, there's so many. And it's nice to get such a variety and it's nice to get kind of this amount of them because I find that sheet masks, it's a nice luxurious thing, but without having a subscription like this, I would usually only do like one every week or two and you don't see results if you're doing that. So if you get a subscription like this, you get enough that you can do one like every couple days and that's when I start to see the results with my skin being really hydrated and I don't really see any firming. I'm 23, it's not really at that point yet. All right, and then we've got the beauty box from Boutique. I'm gonna open this up so I can actually talk about everything that comes in here. So this is for February and you get a lot of the K-beauty brands, right? So things that I mean, I wouldn't be exposed to just living in Canada. Like, what kind of beauty stores do I have? I have, like, drugstores, Sephora, this it. So the first thing that came in here is the Rams Ramosu. Forgive all forthcoming horrible pronunciations. This is the Prickly Pear Soothing Gel retails for $22. And I actually used this on my feet the other day. It's weird as shit. First of all, it smells amazing. But like, it's just this clear, I can't even like tip it to you. It's just like this actual jelly. It's so weird. It feels really nice, but again, so weird. And then you've got this Ramosu. <laughs> Did I get it right the second time? Probably not. Hair mist. This is supposed to be a blooming perfume in coral peach. So it's just like a hair perfume retails for $13. And it is, you shake gently, hold it six inches away from the scalp and spray. All right, let's try. Let's actually see if I like the scent first before I spray this on my head. Yeah, I do. That smells like, um, kind of like mango and peachy. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad if my hair smelled like that all the time. <laughs> It's a neat product. I've literally, I've never heard of a hair perfume, which, I mean, you can obviously put normal perfume in your hair, but then the alcohol tends to kind of dry out my hair and make it more frizzy. So if this doesn't do that, I am sold. All right, and then we've got a mascara. This is, I think, the only beauty product in this box. So this is the uh, Farmstay Princess Curl and Long Lash Mascara, retails for $8.99. I'm not gonna open it, but this will be in my empties eventually, just I have so many going and I don't want it to dry out, but pretty packaging, we'll see how I like it. I love these. This, not this specifically, but these are the reason that my brows look good, except for when I did my project pan because I accidentally, I was so used to using a dull eyebrow razor that when I got a new one, I just like pushed down too much and then my eyebrow was like, see ya. And I was like, okay, for sure. But these are fantastic. These are just little eyebrow razors. Retails for $5.99. Honestly, I get like a pack of three of them from Amazon for like 10 bucks. So just do that. But these are fantastic. Like I just, I use the eyebrow razor in here, up here, shape the bottom right here because we all have a little peach fuzz. Sometimes I go around my hairline because I get little sideburns right here. Women have facial hair, okay? This just makes it really easy to take care of it. And then we've got this, the Collagen Power Firming Eye Cream from Mizon. Mizon? Uh, this retails for $9 and it's supposed to put it on your eyes, moisturizes it. I have 95 million eye creams, like literally 95 million. So I'm probably gonna just stick this in my giveaway because in case you guys didn't hear, I reached 300,000 subscribers. And then the last thing is this pore shot one stop clearing. I think this is just kind of like one of those nose strips, if I'm not mistaken. Retails for $4.99, and put it on your face, let the smooth down 15, 20 minutes, rip it off and look at your gross, gross face all over this strip. So <laughs> I know that it like, these tend to take out things that is supposed to stay in your nose. Like it takes out blackheads, but then it also takes out the little like white shit that's just, it's there, it's in your face. It's part of your face, it's not a bad thing. And I don't care, I'm still gonna use it because it's satisfying as hell. But that is it, I love you guys so much. I will link everything, like I said, down below. Cupshe, uh, Venix Beauty, Boutique Box, 
L'Oreal, it's a small brand in case you haven't heard about it. <laughs> Very famous now. Um, and then Kieran NYC, uh, I don't think I left anything out in all the videos that I talked about as well. Link down below if you want to check it out. And I'll see you guys later. I love you so much. Bye guys.